to today's podcast. Yes, welcome indeed. Today we are going to do something controversial. We're politics. F- we are doing a politics based podcast. reality digest. Reality digest episode number five. And um, just right off the bat, Nick was trying to make us some tea. Yeah. And he forgot to wash them out. And I was like, eh, okay, that's fine. And I <laughs> smell it. Apparently, these were used for like dish detergent or something. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Apparently, they were washed, had soap in them. Um, no, this was like hard soap. So. Yeah, maybe I, I don't just... know what this was. But so, you know, we're not going to be drinking this stuff. Yeah, I'll take the, yeah, but I, but, yeah, but we thought it might as well have the appearance of sipping tea, so there we go. <sighs> Delicious. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, Coleman's scared that he's actually gonna drink one, and then he's gonna have to, like... Yeah, I mean, I feel like I might accidentally drink Stop. it. <laughs> okay, so, let's see. I'm gonna name off all of the topics that you wrote down on here. Yeah, that are political that are politi- related. The presidential race, most of the time, doesn't even matter. It's true. Okay. How the presidential race does matter now because of the death of... Scalia. Scalia. You spelled his name wrong. Um, uh, 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 the corporate parties, both presidential parties have become the same political thing. Political parties. Both political parties have become the same thing, only divided... Only, ugh, I can't read it. Divided only on issues that are guaranteed not to make a difference in your daily lives. Um, that's disappointing and depressing. Um, also, make sure... Okay, that's that. Um, promote... And that's it. And that's uh, it. you're... Is it even picking up my audio? Yeah, that's picking my audio up. Yeah, well, Make yeah, sure to this... promote discussion down in the comments. That's not a topic. That's... Sorry, just threw that on there. Please do stuff in the comments. Why people shouldn't and have to vote. Yes, that's... Yes, paradox of voting. That's complicated. Okay, so do you want to cover all of them, or um, which ones do you want to um, cover? Let's start with the presidential race generally doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't. And as a matter of fact, I think the presidential branches, if you look at the separation of powers, actually... The oh, I can hear the FBI helicopters now. <laughs> well, the, the thing is that it doesn't actually matter. Because of basically pretty much one simple reason. The president can't pass bills. Well, he can, but he really can't. The fact is that there's these things called executive orders. And basically, the president can write a law saying whatever it says, and it can go, to, it'll go into effect. But basically, Congress can say, no, we don't like that, and can stop it immediately. So basically, co- so basically, the power of the president is limited by Congress. And if they just don't agree with something, they, he does, they can just throw it out the window. So who has the real power here, the president or Congress? But here's the thing. Yes? With the checks and balances system, <laughs> yes. did you actually sift that? I accidentally sift that. You see, this is the danger of having these cups here. You know what? Here. I'm not going to. You know what? I'm going to put the cup right there. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. just set that on the ground. Um, Maybe we can but with, the, with the checks and balances system in America, we have the guarantee that no one party or one legis- or one body of government can have complete control of the United States. <laughs> uh, here, here. Let me. Yeah. Hear me out. So. Yeah. The presidential or the executive branch can make executive orders. Mm -hmm. Congress can can, veto those um, those orders. No, they can they can can, no no. Listen, go ahead. They can bring it up for a vote, and if they vote not to have it, Mm -hmm. then it goes back to the president. No, it doesn't go back. No, it does. It does. It's dead. The bill is dead, but the president can compose another executive order. No, 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 no. It's not. It is not dead. It goes back to the president. (laughs) <laughs> they basically can set up a perpetual loop of <coughs> make this a bill. No, okay, make this a bill. No, make this a bill. No, well, and it's the same exact it's, bill. Well, it's, well, it's similar in Make Congress. Bill X a bill. Well, no, it, this is, make this Bill is, X a law. Th- th- no. These are, these are executive orders. These are much different. Okay, yeah. So these are executive orders. So Congress can veto them, they die. The Supreme Court can say, no, they die. Same. So this is the same thing. They can basically render any law unconstitutional. Congress, on the other, now you may be saying, oh, you know, you may be angrily writing down in the comments right now. P- see, seriously, why? Um, se- um, seriously, doesn't the president have the power to veto bills? And he, and uh, and please write that down right now, and I will give you a detailed explanation about why that isn't a major limiting power. Although, although it is, it may, it is the reason why the presidential branch is possibly the most important. And the reason it's the most important is because guess which branch it restrains? Congress. The president's only powerful because it can restrain Congress, and that's really all it can. And that's really all it can do. 
So no, we what? should just stop voting because oh. the president well, doesn't no, matter. No, it does. Let's just, let's no, just, first of all, let's just make Donald Trump president. No, the thing is, you know, is he's that, not going to be able to do well, anything well, anyway, I mean, right? <laughs> well, actually, well, first of all, well, first, well, first of all, it doesn't really matter because the supreme, if the Supreme Court did vote Donald Trump in, first of all, humans are going to invent a time machine someday. They will come back to this moment and assassinate him before it can happen. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, that would. Yeah, well, who knows? Maybe it'll happen. But in the meantime, but let's say he does get elected. First of all, they were first of all they're going to kick him out of office. No, they won't. It is first day because well, first of all, I'm sure he's done lots of illegal activity. They can throw him out of office. If no, they... they won't do that. Why? Because he is a president of the United States. He has some level of respect. No, um, the first um, first of all, first of all, they tried to get rid of Bill Clinton, just because. Well, first, well, first of all, just because he was in there for a reason. As a matter of fact. There have been many people saying that the president, the re- Republican-controlled Congress right now, if Hillary Clinton gets elected, will automatically, um, will automatically get her out because of the email scandal server. Basically, no, no that's what they'll they, try, but they won't succeed. Well, I mean, well, first of all, it's like this: the fact is that the president, the fact is that the Congress can get rid of the president if they choose. It all has to be some unlawful activity. They can, because, like, they arrested Bill Clinton just because he had a supposedly illegal activity. Mm-hmm. They will, they can try to, um, I can't think of the word right now. What, okay, go Impeach? Impeach. They can try to impeach the, they can try to impeach the president. The, they will basically try to impeach a president no matter what. If he is a, well, if he is a member of the opposite political party while the other member is Congress. Now, I think that Donald, so by that measure, Donald Trump will probably get elected will probably get kicked out by his own party because he's Donald Trump. <laughs> but there's also another thing that basically says they will now, and Donald Trump has limited power because he can't really do much without Congress's approval. Yeah, and, you know, and a but lot of political on, um, advisors, you know, on the news and stuff, especially with uh, NPR, have basically said he's not going to be able to do a whole lot because it is predicted that Congress will be a majority um, Democrat, and really? so it's going to be, you know, it's it's like locked. it's like well, for, well, yeah, it will be the lock. But even if it's Republican control, which it probably is going to be because of gerrymandering and the fact that the Senate is predominantly Republican control. Because well, that's right states now. Like, so, but no, it's just a matter of fact. States like Iowa have a very low population. They are generally all rural. Now, the fact is, is that Iowa's Senate vote, which is two people, counts as much as California Senate vote, which has two people, even though one has approximately a thousand times the population of the other. And that's why there's the House. And that's why there's the House. And the fact is, what well, the fact is, is that you can basically give, a, yeah, and unfortunately, if this were true, the Democrats would be winning the House all the time, the Senate, Congress would be winning the Senate all the time. Well, the thing is, is that there's this thing called gerrymandering. Yeah. Which sucks. Because basically, it's the ability in this that it involves a lot of geography and drawing lines on maps and stuff. But basically, it means that you can basically divide up the vote so that if you can draw those maps in the right way, you can basically ensure that you always you win know, the presidency. I, and, yeah. I totally forgot who made this video. I feel so bad because... The audio has been recording the whole time? No, it's recording. Oh, okay. No, I feel bad because I totally forgot who this guy's name was, but he did a really good video about gerrymandering. It was really informative. Um, he does like animation type video. I, I can't think was it, it wasn't an AP human? No. You it, aren't an AP human? No. You aren't an AP human? Oh, okay, sorry. But um, he did a really good video on it. I might say about linking it in the description because it was really that good of a video. It explained everything about gerrymandering that good. And the fact is the they Democrats are probably going to control the House. But definitely the House and probably the Senate next really? year, that's next good. election. That's, um, that's great because then they'll win the census year. Then we can gerrymander the Republicans out of existence. Hooray! This isn't a politically charged video. No, it is. No, 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 it isn't. We're going to put this thing under comedy rather than entertainment because, because, I mean, and it's like, I don't think there's a thing for political, but, like, if it does, I think it, like, gets the full focus of YouTube. Yeah, but, but the, the thing the, isn't is that I don't, but the thing is, we don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. The fact is, try- is that it generally, like, I may, like, the thing isn't is that I may be a very liberal, he's partially liberal, but the In fact general, is, is that it most, like, you just need to see the facts here. Most of the time, most of the time, presidential elections don't matter. No, presidential elections don't matter yeah, because they're, they're totally limited by the House, 
And while the president can shut down the House if they have an equal, like an almost equal vote, they can overwhelm the president with a two-thirds majority. Yeah. Or because, but the fact is that, that the thing is that he can shut down the House but it doesn't matter because the, the, basically the president's only only matters because it affects the house. So about a question: Why are we focusing so much on the presidential election and not more on congressional and con- congressional things? Okay, so you've That's argued that presidential the presidential race doesn't matter most of the time. Most of the time, it doesn't. So matter. when does it matter? Now. Right now, it matters. Yes, because I'm not because of the. <gasps> Great, uh, unfortunate death of Scalia. <laughs> okay, so it's like I mean, to be fair, my hatred against Scalia is well founded. He basically destroyed climate change, made gay gay marriage rights illegal. Did gay marriage rights illegal? Well, it wasn't him alone. You can't no, blame it, it wasn't, all he on wasn't, him. He wrote the main opinion. But it wasn't he, his well, fault that it was illegal. Yeah, it be, well, you can't blame it, it all on him. Well, basically, what it is is that there's lots of votes. There's nine people, and there's two leaders of both parties. One of them was Scalia, the Republican Party. He basically just organized all the judges and basically directs them. And yeah, and yeah, it's like all of the bad bills that have been passed. He, he, yeah, he basically made Citizens United a thing. Hmm. Basically, meaning that there's lots of corruption in politics because of him. And he just made possibly the worst ruling ever on climate change, and then died a day later. Well, I mean, <laughs> we can obviously see that you but, are not with his views. No, I'm not. No, I'm not with his views. But it, the fact is, that there's a Republican judge. He's dead. Now there's now there's another important power that the president has: electing he, Supreme Court judges. Yes, and it's his. I, I honestly think. The Supreme Court was functioning just well when Scalia was alive, wait, especially during the last term, because we passed a lot of very liberal, oh, I'm sorry, a lot of very liberal laws yeah. through the Supreme Scalia, Court but with Scalia him vetoed, being alive. But, well, Scalia vetoed all of those, but Scalia was always on the leading like, edge of the opinion, but the fact is that it's shaken up the composition so much. Now, but, the thing is this, that... Obama will definitely elect, elect a liberal judge, and Congress. That's not. That's not a one hundred percent. Um. Because he knows that Congress will. Congress is will stop. completely like controlled Bomb. by the Republicans. Yeah, it is. But so if he that, doesn't elect well, a Republican nominee, we're not going to get a, well, any more well, court decisions the, well, from the, the Supreme Court this year. Well, oh, guaranteed. It's, oh, no, they they still operate. It's a four to four ratio. Yeah, but they're not gonna they're gonna send it off to other district courts. That's what they can do if they feel that they won't be able to make fair decisions with a four to four. And that's and that's not and that's not that big of a problem. But here's another important thing. They can't stall forever. As a matter of fact, I've seen a lot of news media about basically saying that Senator Mitch McConnell is kind of going back on that idea because he got so, so much bad press. Yeah, but here's the, thi- here's the thing. Mm. By the time they have a new president in office... They can't delay for four years. They, they can delay until this time next year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which will be when the next president gets elected and when we have a Democrat... Controlled, hopefully, you know, Congress hopefully. and and House. that's the and and let's say that hopefully it doesn't and probably. But now the thing is, is that if Donald Trump gets elected or that's something like that, any this is, it, but any it's important. hard line Republican um, president is going will to elect a very Republican cause judge. Gridlock and yeah, if it's if it's going just, to be a Republican set, if there's it's going probably to be a going set. to be a Democrat or some sort of liberal leaning. Senate. New member of Senate. No. Oh, of the oh of the Supreme Court. Of the Supreme Court because the Democrats will be controlling the House and probably the presidency. If well, Donald, not, if Donald Trump no, wins and probably well, Congress. And if Donald Trump becomes president, he's going to have to realize that he cannot win against a Democrat-controlled House and probably Congress. I mean, so he's going to have to elect a Democrat person well, to take over yeah. for Scalia. Well, well, and if it's Hillary Clinton, 
or Bernie Sanders, Hopefully easy. Bernie. Yeah. Easy, it becomes well, I mean, a well, democratic. I mean, well, maybe not for Bernie. He'll probably like the socialists. Are like, no, 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 no. Please just do something else. Like, I'm the leader of your party. The president is like literally the leader of the party when when he's in the president office, just to coordinate everything so they can get lots of le- liberal bills passed while he's in office. Yeah, and I'm saying it's probably going to be a liberal leaning person Cong- in Congress. No, in yeah. the. Supreme Court, yeah, Supreme because Court. there's going to be a Democrat-controlled Senate. House and probably Senate. Yeah, but the thing is, and that's that. The thing is, and that's that. If you read the Constitution, it's really actually very specific. It said that the, and it says here's what it says. It basically says that that if in the in the in the event of a Supreme Court member leaving, the President shall appoint the judge, and Congress will dutifully accept the judge. And no, it's that's been interpreted what it's, no, many different ways. No, no, that's the exact lines right there. And basically, and now by saying that you have the right to approve, that means you also have the right to disprove. Exactly. Now, so that's why. But, but on, but on the other hand, the wording kind of implies implies that it's mainly the president's job. Would you agree with that? It implies that, but it also implies a sense of checks and balances mm-hmm. where the president yes. can't just yes. elect a Republican well, I mean, or liberal in, well, leading. Yes. Yes, checks and Member balances, America, making Supreme sure that Court. nothing gets done. <laughs> making sure that nothing gets bleeping done. Congratulations. But it also keeps from, you know, the obvious. It all, it, it all, well, well, it also keeps, well, the fact is that some bills are better than no bills. Well, and Not all, and exactly, no. Well, it's, I mean, it's, I mean. Would you rather have... Fifty percent of the bills pass, trying to give all the power to the president, or no bills um, passing at all. Well, uh, the thing is, and that's that. Right now, well, the thing is, and that's that. The fact is, and that's that. America needs constant maintenance, and I don't care that maintenance is under a Democrat or a Republican. Some stuff needs to get done. Okay. Because that means like some roads need to be fixed. Even Republicans will say, "Okay, the road is broken. Okay, we should probably fix that road right now." You can't really do that if it's like this. So the fact is. The republic, the Republicans or Democrats, whoever wins the presidency, Scalia will almost surely be replaced by a liberal. Hopefully, I mean, well, hopefully, probably, I mean, and most I mean, likely, I mean, more than a seventy-five percent chance, in my yeah, opinion. I mean, I mean, and and the, and that's between two odds. First of all, CNN has done many calculations against both we don't, Hillary we don't versus need, Trump. And Bernie versus it Trump. It doesn't even matter who the president is in this situation. Yeah, that's true. But let's say that it's a Republican-controlled Senate. If if one of those gets elected, they can't stall for four years. And if Bernie gets elected, there's no way he's electing a Supreme... There's no way he's electing a Republican judge. No, there's if no you, way. There's no way. And they can't stall for four years. They're eventually getting like, oh, yeah, this judge, this judge, this judge, this judge. And eventually they have to accept because they will eventually just fold them. Eventually. Right and there's and definitely they, and a way. And they can't keep it up for four years. There's definitely a way for a Republican president to get a Republican leader into the House or into the Supreme, Supreme Court. Court without a Republican. Controlled Senate. Yeah. Just, just, just keep, just never back down. And mm-hmm. eventually they're, they're just eventually going, going to have to fill the role. Full and via social pressure. Yes. And it's the president's job to nominate, so they have to appoint whoever the president nominates at that point. So that's why it's 75... Percent chance likely. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like, and like, if you do the calculations, the Democrats are more likely to win than the Republican just because Trump is such a non-electable candidate. And if you're a Republican, you'll be kind of like, eh, yeah, yep, that's kind of true. And so this is... I never thought I'd say this, but praise the founding fathers for giving us the Shut electoral up! college. It's, be- it's because no, it's stop. hey it, hey you have to hear me out. No, I don't. Yes, you do. So if Donald Trump gets the vote, he is not going to get oh, the vote from the, the electoral, electoral college. college. Because like if they he see him, is like, not oh. because of the electoral college. There is almost a zero percent chance that he will become president. I mean, if Ted, I mean, if Ted Cruz or Marco Rubio, or if one of them drops out and doors to the other, or like the Crubio, Crubio was like, if any other, like, if all, like, the thing is, is that they're going to have a hard time keeping up with Trump. And they like, don't have to. Won't. They just have to get second place. So the problem is, 
if we can't get Trump out of the race before, you know, the big... The big after it's all done and decided? No, the big, um, geez, the Republican convention where they nominate yeah, the, their yeah. person, then we're probably either going to get Hillary or Bernie as president. Well, I mean, and like probably Hillary, but there's been some lo um, low chance scenarios of um, Bernie winning. And it's like, it's yeah. not hard, it's just highly improbable. I mean, even if he won our state, he probably... He did. He, no, he did. But he still didn't win as many states as Hillary Clinton. Yeah, yeah, and the fact is, is that it will require kind of like a big, like a little bit of reworking. It's like, it's possible. It's not impossible, though. So, our verdict... What's our verdict? It matters... It because matters. It matters because no matter what the House does, if you have a candidate who's really determined to get this judge through, they can't do it for four years because they will fold under. The presidency pressure. doesn't matter when it comes to who is going to replace Scalia. What? It oh, it does matter. It 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 um it matters because of that social pressure thing. If they they can't keep it up for four years, otherwise they'll. No, but the thing is, we just. Dis because if Trump's probably going to, Trump may pretty much likely become the Republican nominee. And the only way and he does because of the Electoral College, he won't win. probably will not be the president. Yeah. So we're going to get a Democratic president, and which is a why hopefully, streamlined yeah. process, we're going to get a liberal yeah. Um, replacement yeah. for Scalia. But but it's why, but the, for, the point is this, that generally most of the time it wouldn't matter, but it matters now because of Scalia. So whichever party you're for... Vote this time, because this time, it actually matters. We will see you guys in the next podcast. See you guys later.